as I'm remembering, remembering, as I'm remembering, we're getting into knuckle swatch territory. So we've got a little bit of a weird knuckle swatch there. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really exciting video for y'all today. I've got a show and tell slash first impressions slash review on the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection, which I was so excited, thrilled, so, so thankful that they sent me this whole collection, which just totally shocked me and made my day. So thank you so much to Too Faced for sending it to me. I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna run through the different products in here, show you swatches, let you know my thoughts. For the um, lip glosses, I'm gonna show you swatches on my lips as well as on my hand and yeah, just kind of go over this collection. So let's get to it. So let's start off with the eyeshadow palette that totally inspired this whole collection. This is the Sweet Peach palette. This is at least the outside box. Super duper cute, very peachy. I love just all the branding on this collection is so adorable. So there's the outside box. The actual palette itself is precious. It has little peaches on it. It's kind of like an ombre sort of an effect. You've got the little peach logo, super duper cute. Now the feel of this palette is very, very peachy. So it's got peach up there, sweet peach. Um, obviously it's a very peachy palette for being called the sweet peach. It matches the name. Um, lots of lighter kind of like, um, uh, goldeny, we're just really super light goldeny peach colors, peachy shades in here, and then some kind of darker browns and purples. So, very, very warm toned, super duper peachy. And today I'm using a random Valentine's pencil that I found in the drawer next to me. So that's going to serve as our pointer today. <laughs> so starting at the top left side of the palette, this is white peach. This one is luscious, just peachy, bless her heart. I love that name because I say that all the time. Bless your heart, bless their heart. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a Southern thing, I say it. This one is tempting. Charmed, I'm sure. That is a really pretty matte brown. Next row, this is Nectar, Cobbler, Candy Peach. I have that in my crease today. Bellini, Peach Pit, and this one is Delectable. Bottom row, this is Peaches and Cream, Georgia, Caramelized, Puree, Summer Yum, and Talk Derby to Me. Talk Derby to Me, I really kind of had to build that one up. So that one, not my favorite from the palette, but everything else, so, so nice. These shadows perform just like other Too Faced shadows, which Too Faced makes some of my very favorite eyeshadows out there from any company. So I'm excited to see that these perform the same way. They blend really well, they're pigmented, they wear really well throughout the day, they stick around on the eyes. They're just good shadows. And I think they did a really good job of picking colors for this palette, like the overall feel of it just works well together. And I think you can really get creative with this palette and come up with a lot of different looks, like smoky looks, lighter looks, just lots of different options. Now there are a couple things that I wish this palette had. I wish there were at least one more peachy shade, like maybe a matte peachy shade. This one is mostly matte, but then it has a little bit of micro shimmer in it. It doesn't really show up on the eyes, but um, I mean, so it kind of functions almost like a matte, but I would just love to have seen one more peachy shade at least, maybe two, and then it's a personal preference, but I love to see a super dark matte chocolatey brown in palettes just because that's kind of my favorite color to deepen up my outer corner with. So I would love if this palette had a really, really dark brown and it has some darker shades but they're not matte like this one's matte and this one's matte but they're a little bit lighter so i would change that about the palette but overall i think it's really really cute really nice quality next product is a standout favorite for me from the collection and i kind of wonder if this is going to be one of the products that's kind of overlooked in this collection this is the blush the peach infused blush in papa don't peach this is the outside packaging Super duper cute. I kind of wonder if it's gonna be overlooked because this blush has been included in other palettes from Too Faced, which I've always liked it in those palettes, but now I love that it's individually packaged in really, really stinking cute packaging. I mean, this is adorable. So that's what that looks like. Just all of it is ombre with the adorable little peach. He just makes me happy. 
He's adorable. So love that. Here is the swatch of that. So it's like a really glowy, everyday peachy color. It is beautiful. I do have this on today, but I have also another product from the collection on as well. So you're kind of seeing it here, but it's sort of like mixed with other things. But I love this. I think this is going to be a go-to everyday blush for me. It just gives that like beautiful glow and it's just a gorgeous like really versatile color. So I love that. Definitely need to note the scent of this collection. Everything smells like peaches. So that could be a major plus for some people or it could be a negative for some people. So I think it smells really nice. Now I was wearing one of the glosses um, one day when I had a headache and it was getting to me. So if you're sensitive to scents, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this collection. You may not be into it because it is heavily scented. But on days when I don't have a headache, I love it. I think it smells so good and it just adds something like fun and extra to the collection. Next is a product that's been getting a lot of buzz. This is the Sweet Peach Glow Peach Infused Highlighting Palette. So there is what that looks like. So same kind of like peachy look to it, but it's got that like metallic sheen on it. And here is the back. So really, really beautiful packaging once again. And then the actual palette itself is super duper cute as everything is in this collection. I'm probably saying cute a lot because it's cute. So this one has more of the logo that kind of goes with the eyeshadow palette. Papa Don't Peach has the little like, you know, smiling peach that's adorable. And then this one has the little regular peach and it says Sweet Peach Glow. So it's got that same ombre look to it. Here it is there. And then what you're getting in this palette this is a very kind of glowy palette. I mean, Sweet Peach Glow fits it perfectly because it's all glowing products in here. You get kind of a um, glowing highlight, a glowy blush, and then a glowy kind of light bronzer. So there are those products. Got really cute little um, imprinting on it. This has little peaches. This has the Sweet Peach Glow logo. And then this has peaches as well. And let me show you the Papa Don't Peach because it had a little um, kind of imprinting on it as well. So there is that one. So it says Papa Don't Peach and then has the little peach outline here. So just really nice attention to detail. Let me show you swatches of the Sweet Peach Glow. So you get the highlighter here, the blush, and then the kind of like glowy bronzer. So this highlighter is um, peachy and obviously it's in the Sweet Peach Glow palette and it's a peachy highlighter. So it looks peachy and it's one of those highlighters that I feel like it's really versatile because with first application, it's more subtle and good for every day, but it really can be built up to be kind of more glowy and intense. So I like that. I feel like it's a versatile sort of a highlighter that I feel like a lot of people will get use out of. And then here is the blush. So it's kind of like a glowy orangey peach. I want to show you in comparison to Papa Don't Peach. So Papa Don't Peach is kind of more pinky peach, and this one is more kind of orangey peach. I like them both. This is my favorite of the two, but I do really like this one also just for like a fun, um, I don't know, especially like a summery, like a spring and summer sort of a makeup look. That's when I grab for these blushes more. So that one's more kind of like an orangey sort of a peach. And then this is the glowing bronzer. This one I'm kind of like experimenting with and kind of figuring out ways to use it. Today I still contoured and then I applied just a little bit of this on top of my contour and a little bit on my forehead. Um, it's just, it blends really nicely. So I do like that about that. Um, they all blend really nicely. So very nice formula as far as like application. So this blends really nicely. It's just one of those shades that I'm gonna have to figure out how to get good use out of. I think I liked it the way I used it today, but I need to play with it more. So there is that palette, really nice. I like this one a lot too. But honestly, I, I like the Papa Don't Peach. Like, this is very nice, but I love this. I feel like I'm gonna get more use out of this, actually. And lastly, we have these Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses, and there are eight different shades of these. Adorable packaging on these as well. Really nice attention to detail that, like, Sweet Peach, the actual word, is raised, as well as every time there's a little peach on the box, it's raised as well. Just very, very nice. I wanted to read some information about these glosses to you. So it says, infused with the skin-loving essence of peach, coconut oil, and vitamin E, smells and tastes like peaches, eight new shades of nudes, peachy pinks, and corals, coconut oil and vitamin E hydrate and soften lips, moisture-rich formula feels lightweight and creamy. 
So I'm going to run through the different shades, show you on my lips as well as my hand. First off, we have Peach Sickle, and I feel like this is a great everyday sort of color. I feel like it looks brighter in the swatch than it does on my lips. Um, on my lips, it looks more like an everyday sort of color. In the swatch, I feel like it looks a little closer to the box where it's a little bit brighter. So it's probably going to depend on your natural lip color, what it's going to look like on you. Because these do have pigmentation. They're in between being kind of a sheer gloss and a super pigmented, like almost lip lacquer sort of a gloss. They're kind of right in between. So they have a nice pigmentation to them. So it is going to factor in a little bit what your natural lip color is. So... Here is this one. Really like that one. I think this is going to be a great go-to everyday color. This one is a surprise favorite for me. This is Peach Fuzz, and it is a really, really beautiful nude. Oh my goodness. When I was first hearing about this collection and saw this shade, I didn't think that this would be one that I would necessarily grab for, but having it on my lips, I love this one. Like This one is going to be one that I grab for to wear over um, nudes or even by itself. It just is such a beautiful nude. I mean, it's a lighter nude for sure. Um, but again, it's going to factor in what your natural lip color is because that does show through just a little bit. Um, so there is that one, Peach Fuzz. This is another great everyday color. This is Papa Don't Peach. And this one is more on the brown side. So it's still a nude, still a neutral color, but it has more brown in it than Peach Fuzz. So let me show you side by side. So there is Peach Fuzz and there is Papa Don't Peach. Really, really like this one. As far as formula on these goes, I love the formula. They are so hydrating and comfortable. They smell amazing, they taste amazing, and they just hydrate and moisturize the lips so nicely. As I'm removing, removing, as I'm removing these lip swatches, <laughs> My lips feel really nice. Like they don't feel like they're dried out. I feel like this is a treatment on the lips. Not the longest wearing gloss. I did wear these out and tried them out, but I would say longer wearing than I would expect for how hydrating they feel. But they're not gonna be like an all day sort of a gloss, but they're also not that like sticky tacky sort of a feeling gloss. They are super hydrating and comfortable and pigmented. Really nice formula. Love this shade. This one's a really cute color. This one is pure peach, and this one is a little bit brighter, but you know, these are glosses, so it's not gonna be like a cream lipstick that's a bright peachy pink. This one is a gloss that's a bright peachy pink. So it is a fun color though. But you can see how much brighter it looks there than it looks on my lips. I think it's a lot more wearable on my lips. So if you're looking for a pinky peachy sort of a shade, this one in pure peach would be the one to go with. Love this one, this is Peach Tease. And when I think about the Sweet Peach collection and like which color just kind of like represents it best or at least the one that I would think of first, I think this like really totally matches the whole collection. I mean, obviously these are all peach, but this is like a very classic peach and it's super duper cute. Looks a lot brighter in the swatch than it does on my lips. So again, more wearable on the lips, but I mean, that is a fun, bright color, beautiful, but not like, I don't like lip colors that are this sort of color. I, it's not, those are not my go-to, but in a gloss, I like them a lot more. Like I really like this. This will be one of my go-tos from this collection. This one's definitely a bright one from the bunch. This is Tickle Me Peach, and this is more of kind of like a reddish sort of a peachy color. So you can see compared to this one, which was Peach Teas, this one, which is, I just did it, Tickle Me Peach, is more reddish. But they still have that same kind of brightness, but the difference is this has more red in it. So, really nice. If you like pinks, this will definitely be your favorite from the bunch. This is Peach Please. And this one's, I really wouldn't call this peach. I would call this pink. But I do think it's really fun that they included this one in the collection, just because, you know, if people maybe are looking for more something pink to go with the eyeshadow palette or one of the blushes. I think this will go perfectly. I mean, obviously I'm wearing the blush and the eyeshadow and I think it's going really well with it. So if you're looking for a pink, this would be the one to go with. All right guys, we're getting into knuckle swatch territory. So we've got a little bit of a weird knuckle swatch there, but I think I did okay. So I think we're okay. <laughs> this one is Poppin' Peach. 
and this is a more orangey sort of a peach. And I feel like if you have wanted to try an orangey sort of a lip color, this would be a great one to go with because it's more on the sheer side. It seems a little bit more sheer than the rest of these. I built it up there so you could really see the color. But um, first pass, it's more of kind of like a uh, more sheer orangey peach. So if you've wanted to try an orangey peach, but you've been a little bit afraid, this is a great one to go with. So overall impression on these glosses, I love these. They are so hydrating and comfortable on the lips and beautiful looking. These will truly be like a go-to lip product for me, like if I've done a lip swatch party or my lips are just chapped and I'm just needing some sort of nice hydration on my lips with some color too. These feel like truly like a lip treatment to me, but with really nice color payoff, beautiful um, scent to them, yummy taste. I'm just loving them. I think they're awesome. And I also just noticed this little guy on the top, it's a little squishy peach. I mean, I feel like I need to like thoroughly look over this collection because I feel like there are little hidden, adorable attentions to detail that I haven't even noticed yet. So that little guy, I just noticed him and he makes me happy. <laughs> All right guys, so that wraps up this show and tell on the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. So overall thoughts on this collection, I think it is adorable. I think it's such nice quality. The packaging is super duper cute. Everything performs nicely. Standouts for me from the collection would definitely be the Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses and also the Papa Don't Peach Blush. So these are definitely the standouts for me, but I really enjoy everything from this collection. So hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this collection. If you picked up anything, what are your thoughts about the products? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!